Okay, uh, what we're going to do next um, in this exercise is we're going to look at creating some planets um, that are going to eventually orbit above the holographic projector and that's going to be the projection that goes there. Uh, but before we can start doing that we need to really hide all of this stuff that's in the way. Um, this is great, we want to keep it for later but while we're modelling something new it's just going to distract. Uh, the way we're going to do that is by putting it all onto its own layer uh, layers in some ways work like they're doing something like Photoshop um, so we're going to put it on a layer and that means that we can hide that layer and bring it back whenever we want. Now I've brought this back um, earlier on I had dropped this bit down here uh, but I brought it back up and that has got the display tab which has got layers in it which is important so you need to make sure that you've got that and then what we're going to do is just drag a box to select everything in the scene if you can't see everything in the scene just press the A key and it will bring it all into view and then if you just click on layers you can select create layer from selected so that will put everything that is selected into one layer like that so now that they're in a layer I'm going to give that layer a name by double clicking on it and where it says layer 1 I'm just going to call it room layer and I can add things to that later if I feel the need to. Click on save. Okay, nice to know that you can't have a space uh, in there. I'm learning all the time. There you go, room layer. So that is now one layer with everything in and there if you look at this little V here that means that it's visible and so to hide it all we need to do is click on that and even though we've got it selected um, it's invisible. So there we go, we've now got a nice clean project again um, unless we want to bring it back and then we can just click on that but I don't want it back at the moment um, <clears throat> the only other thing I want to do before we move on to the next step is to bring back the grid by clicking on this little chappy up here and then we've got um, our scene ready to go on to the next step which is to create a sun and some planets